plan by some lay people in Lagos to restart the NSAS protest at the popular Lekito gate is gradually turning into ethnic fights between ethnic groups in Nigeria. It will be recalled that the NSAS protest, which rocked the country a few months ago, affected Lagos more badly than other cities across the country. In fact, countless places were destroyed by hoodlums who hijacked the unnecessary prolonged protests. While a lot of government properties were destroyed, some private businesses were equally affected. Sincerely, some people joined the ever-increasing unemployment list because of that needless protests. As a result of the perceived police brutality in the country, panels of inquiry were set up in some stages of in some states of the federation. Among these panels, that of Lagos is the most active one. A few days ago, the panel, after much consideration, decided to return the Lekki toll gate to the owners, the Lekki Consensus Company, LCC. Due to this development, a new plan to begin a, a fresh protest at the toll gate was betted by the organizers of the NSAS protest. Since this plan was made known on social media some days ago, a rival group have emerged. This new group have equally concluded plan to clash with those that will make any attempt to, back, to block the toll gate at the stipulated date, the 13th of February, 2021. Not only that, a rival protest, a rival protest group have emerged, but IPOP members are being accused of foiling this new protest designed to shut down the Lekki toll gate for the second time in a few months. Some are even believing that Lagos is, des is designed to be attacked by IPOP members because of Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the national leader of the APC. To this end, there is tension of ethnic crisis in the state. As can be seen on Twitter, a lot of preparation is ongoing towards that end. More persons are now willing to join the counter-protests. IPOP members are the target of many people in this time around. The belief is that IPOP members wanted to destroy Lagos. However, a lady has made a case for Igos on social media. According to this Twitter user, all Igbos are not members of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra group. She states in the tweet that airing IPOP members can be prevented from attacking Lagos or shutting down the toll gates, but innocent Igbo businessmen in the state should not be attacked for any reason. At Alhaji Ikemba, I like that you said IPOP. Yes, read Lagos of IPOP members and their agenda. But it should be directed at IPOP and not innocent evil businessmen and women, Sha. Make on a no waiting on a day, promote to. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? I said, well, we are now facing another situation where we have IPOP members you know, being attacked, or IPOP, as it were, being attacked or accused of virtually everything that happens in the country now. If you go to the South-South, once there is a riot or killing, burning of police station, IPOP will be mentioned. If you go to the Southeast, any issue that happens, IPOP will be mentioned. Now in the Southwest, it's Lagos for, or Lagos to be specific as it were, a planned protest that has been organized by some people they are now they are calling on IPOP, they are accusing IPOP of wanting to stage the protest. To a very large extent, I personally see this as probably an agenda 
to blacklist IPOP and its members. Basically, I see no reason why IPOP will leave the Southeast to come to Lagos and uh, want to engage in a protest to shut down the Lekki toll gate. I think there is an agenda to uh, destroy the image of the Igbo people as it were. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, because Lagos, as big as it is, and as, you know, as populated as it is, I don't think IPOP members would have the time to want to come and protest in Lagos when it does not involve any of their core um, agenda, as it were, what they are fighting for. What is IPOP's business with the Lekki Toll Gate? The Lekki Toll Gate is the business of the Lagosians and uh, those who, were, who participated in the hashtag NSAS protest in October. So those are the people that should be directed to or they are, should be attacked. They are the ones who felt that, or who still feels rather, that justice has not been done. Justice has not been served. Why are you reopening the Lekki Toll Gate? This is the venue where Nigerians were killed. A good number of Nigerians were killed. To a very large extent, all those that were killed on that day would still be alive if they were not killed. So why would they be killed only for fighting for their rights, fighting for what they believe in? This is what the NSAS protesters are fighting for, that justice has not been served and that the Lagos state government cannot continue the use or begin the use of the Lekki toll gates until justice has been served on the incident that happened at the Lekki toll gate plaza in October 2020. But however, the Lagos panel, when they voted, they voted that the Lekki toll gates be reopened and be handed over to the uh, owners, which is the LCCC, Lagos Concession Company. But however, People who felt that it is ill to reopen the Lekki toll gate have come out again to say there will be another protest to actually protest against the reopening of the Lekki toll gate. And that is where you see they are bringing in IPOP, making accusing, fingering IPOP here, you know, and all that. But however, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. The protest has been slated for the 13th of February. And that is why the person was saying that all Igbos are not IPOP members. So anybody who wants to address the IPOP members should address the IPOP members directly and not address the Igbos all as IPOP because not all Igbos are IPOP members. Well, it remains to be seen. Well, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share this news story with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.